Do you believe it? It was spring the other day and now it's snowing. I just put up the Easter stuff. Maybe I should get my Christmas stuff back out. And look at the job. Look at the number it's doing to my front porch. All the paint is peeling. Ew. We gotta redo it this year, man. Anyway, maybe I can make a snowman later. Looks pretty. Still checking to see if all my chocolates are in here. I don't trust my kids. I'm just going to take a second here to show you a new book that I had got, The Year of Cozy. It's very much like a Liz Marie Galvin kind of book. It's that same kind of setup. It's a really nice book, and it was at Chapters or Indigo for $10. See, it's got all the different um, months, like spring, fall, winter, and it gives you some information um, you know, just some fun things to do for that season, some recipes, some crafts. It's a really nice little book. And the author is, if I can remember, her name is Adriana Adarme. So I went shopping again and I found this cute little wicker basket at uh, Home Sense. And I went to a bulk barn to find some, some candies for my coffee bar. And I found some eggies and some little chocolate Easter bunnies that have caramel inside. Look how cute they are. So I thought I'd share this little, it's not really a DIY, I just put together these, these two glass canisters, so easy to, to do. I just added some moss to the bottom. It's sort of like a pretty scene in a glass jar, like almost like a cloche. And I put this little picture that I had DIY'd a few years ago, a little nest. And in the other one, I'm just using a page that I tore out of an old book, just folding it so that it stands up in the jar. and then adding a little ceramic bunny that I got at the Tattered Tulip. I went to the uh, thrift shop and I've been looking for some vintage antique kind of looking books for using them for risers, decor, and I found some and they were $2 each. I lucked out. Now this color is a bit bright for me, but it's okay when it's turned around like that. Anyway, I sterilized everything. I always have to sterilize everything. You never know where it's been. Anyway, this one here is not as old. This one here, copyright is, um, let me see, where is it? 1921 okay that's still old but then i'm looking here it's pretty old okay so that's the first one i have to show you this one look at this look at the book look how old it is it's all cracked and tattered isn't it funny before the decor uh, trend came in with the vintage books i would have thrown this out i wouldn't have even touched it now i like them and i've always liked the historical meaning inside like 
Look at this, how beautiful her writing was. Wishing you a Merry Christmas from Edna, 1913. Isn't that beautiful? Like I'm touching it, thinking about who she was. I'm getting goosebumps. I love, I'm not really into like old furniture, like some wood, wood pieces. Like I don't like those velvet couches with the gold tassels, but I do like, you know, old, old um, pieces of furniture that you can refurnish refurbish but I just love things like this because I can I feel it like I almost can see her I'm mental I know anyway look so old I think it's falling apart oh it is falling apart but I like that something oh here it is look look at the stickers like when I was a kid to dad from Duke and Haiti Christmas 1948 um, so I got something in the mail today. I was looking forward to it. I wanted some new uh, soap dispenser and lotion dispenser. And I had amber glass before, but I wanted something with a nice, you know, brushed kind of brassy gold um, hardware to it or a pump. So I got these. They are by the company, by, uh, I think they're called Vine. And they are glass amber bottles with, uh, I think, rust resistant um, brass colored pumps, and it comes with a few different labels. So I thought I would use them for the dish soap and the other one for hand lotion. You know, I mean, a lot of people put hand soap by the uh, sink. I just use the detergent for my hands. So I need some lotion because my hands are so dry and I have a million different lotions upstairs and I always forget to bring them down. So these are quite nice and I love the color of the, uh, they call it brushed nickel, but it's to me it's brass. So here we go. I'm going to start decorating my coffee bar for spring and Easter. Instead of yapping, I am going to be quiet, zip my lip, and let you enjoy it with some nice background music.
So I'm so glad that you all joined me today and I hope you enjoyed the video. Until next time, take care friends.